U.S. Atomic Energy Commission later uh, censored that that uh, article because of national security reasons. Okay, <laughs> but later in 1947, um, Oscar Ewing, who was an Alcoa lawyer, was who was in charge of the Public Health Service, began the the National Water Fluoridation Campaign. Okay, and now. 65 years later, here we are. It's everywhere. 77 percent. San Diego just increased its fluoride level. Yes, 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 yes. And here's here's something that's interesting. If I were you folks down in San Diego listening to us on Kogo, I'd go nuts. I'd call yeah, everybody they, right now. They just increased. Yeah, I was just hearing about, listening to that today on, uh, Alex Jones was talking about that, about San Diego. Mm-hmm. But Edwin Bernays was the one that was in charge of this campaign to, to, to sell this to the American public. Okay, he was a he was a man that was the his nickname was the father of spin. He wrote a book called Propaganda: How to Manipulate the Masses. He was Sigmund Freud's nephew, and he was the one that was in charge of the the, the U.S. campaign to sell fluoride to the public. And so, for 15 years, he basically said, you know, numerous studies have shown, research has proven, investigations have found, but he never really quoted any studies because there were none that showed fluoride was good for your teeth. And then if anybody doubted what he said, he just attacked their character, which is still, you know, standard procedure today. And after 15 years, it was just a well-known fact that uh, fluoride is good for your teeth, even though they couldn't cite any studies. And uh, but by the way, Bernays is the same guy that, that uh, made popular the, the, the uh, notion that smoking was good for, for women. I wanted to stress, too, as well, is that one piece of the puzzle, the cancer puzzle that most most authors or researchers don't touch on like they should, and I want to stress this, is the detoxification part. I believe that, that if cancer is a disease of a compromised immune system from an overload of toxicity, then what we need to do is to detoxify in order that we can build our body back up. You can't just start on a treatment and, and get well if you haven't detoxified the, the poisons in your system first. And so that is a, a, an essential piece of the puzzle that many people overlook. You've got to clean out your body. You've got to clean out your colon. You've got to do a parasite cleanse, a kidney cleanse, a liver gall cleanse, a blood cleanse. You've got to clean out and detoxify your body first. It's an analogy that I like yep. to use. If your toilet overflows, modern, me- <sighs> modern medicine, what they do, <laughs> if, what modern medicine does is they bring in the janitor and they mop it up. But you still got the problem of the overflown toilet. There's, there's nothing that's fixed the problem. What it's a great analogy. Cleaning the symptoms. Thank you. I, I'm saying it's got to be tough for someone who has cancer yeah. to be with their doctor, and the doctor says you need radiation or you need chemo, you need this. Yeah. And, you know, they're dealing with their life. It is a tough call. It is. It is a tough call, and, and the doctors are doing what they think is best, and they've been taught wrong. That's the sad part. You know, they really are good folks that are trying to help, but they've been taught the, a wrong protocol in medical school. Uh, like, let's, let's look at, uh, say, intravenous vitamin C, for instance. There is mounds of research backing the fact that, that intravenous vitamin C at large doses, 10,000 to 20,000 grams, uh, is, is uh, cytotoxic. It kills cancer cells. Okay? Um, but that, I don't know if you've been watching this, George, but the FDA is trying to stop the sale of intravenous vitamin C now. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that it's not just a one-time thing when you detox, is it? No, no, it's a content. Yeah, that's something you should do over and over. It is. Hey, um, Ty, we're out of time. I want folks truly. I don't recommend everything that we have on this show. I want you to find out yourself. But cancer step outside the box. He's got some great stories and research here. 